Hello everyone, uh, Richard back for more Ultimate Mode. Uh, for Minsk, there's really two phases. Phase 1, I need to grab all but two airfields by turn 9. Phase 2 is gobble up as many major objectives as possible. Uh, after just some light playtesting, um, I realized my tactical bombers need to be in the south for a bit before migrating up north. And... I need to surround the units more aggressively, which comes at a price, but I think it's worth it in the end. And uh, let's see, I achieved way more than I thought I would. Can we pause? Okay. I was like, oh my god, do I have movement speed slowed down? There we go. Let's put the sound down. There we go. So, um, I'm used to getting used to my new computer with a lot of sound. Um, I honestly didn't take this too seriously, and I accomplished a lot. So, I imagine Bricada and Goose are going to accomplish even more. Um... I had to play test a little bit about unit positioning because I didn't remember exactly where everything was. Um, don't be shocked if both Goose and Bricada use a very similar setup. In my opinion, the map doesn't have a lot of flexibility. So, and now I'm just gonna surround as many units as I can. And I'm going to be heavily concentrated on the north. You're going to see me overload the north. So those units are all blocked. Those are free kills for Kesha. Notice that I suppress a target and then hit it with a tactical bomber so I get more suppression to finish a unit off. I really want to kill the scout. I'm also offering the 7-1 as bait. I got such a good hit that I decided to attack with the paratroopers. So, like, a lot of units are blocked. In my opinion, Goose and Bricotta will improve upon my approach. Here comes Rudel. Some free kills for the 88. That's mostly suppressed. It's, you know, killing that unit's really easy. Notice that I'm always going after units with ammo over units without ammo. Just because it's more important to do that. And now I'm going to flood through the north quite rapidly. Okay, so I had managed to block that T-34... Uh, that... Uh, T-34, and that makes the first few turns much easier. And Helmut Len is just cleaning up. Look at this. Mm, it feels good. Oh, and then I force a surrender. Now, the only problem with this plan is my scout is going to get wrecked. But the scout isn't really involved with combat, 
So if he gets wrecked one time, it's okay. I'm also offering uh, the 7 1. So, yeah, like the middle has already collapsed. That was a lucky shot. Hey look, my scout- oh no! There we go. So I had to hope and pray here that my scout would hold out. Now, my scout has a defense plus one. Oh, and you missed you missed the fact that the uh, conscripts came out and walked into double artillery. It feels good. the 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 fortification hex sees the double sees the Panzer Jaeger, but not the double artillery. So that's a trap. I fully expect Goose and Bricada to use. I captured that with the 88 gun because he has half tracks and it's easier for him to catch up. Really easy kills. You do have time for this. You absolutely have time for this. If, if there's a more efficient way to do it, there probably is a more efficient way to do it but it's not a big deal that I'm a little slow. You have enough time. You're actually, what, what happens is that I overcommit, I don't overcommit, I commit hard to the north, so I'm a little behind in the south. And it took me 15 turns to secure the decisive, which I wasn't even like trying too hard but I, I was able to do it. And now everybody rushes north. That was brutal. <clears throat> I have to I have to suppress the anti air so I can take care of the KV. And then I need to kill that infantry. That was an unfortunate hit. And then the anti-air goes down, so that makes... I really have to commit my tactical bomber south because I need to clean this up fast so I can actually try to get that capturable unit. And you can see I'm trying to set it up so I capture hexes while attacking. I do send paratroopers in the back to capture some units, and then I'm going to use my scout to capture some unit. My scout to capture hexes. Um, Helmet Len is kicking ass right now. As you can see, I am I am moving fast. I actually think there's probably ways to do this faster, which is crazy. If I had half tracks on everything. You could wipe the map in 15 turns, probably. But it's really expensive to have half tracks.
So this is about the point where your air force isn't that helpful. There's too much anti-air everywhere. Awesome. I'm glad that the artillery attacked that. Yep, I'm using the uh, auxiliary bombers to do the dirty work for me. Overwhelming firepower. And then I didn't kill it. <laughs> but it was suppressed, so it's okay. Look at all of the firepower I used to take out one bridge engineer. By the way, I totally forgot I had a movement plus one hero. <laughs> oh, I'm a doofus. Now I have to begin the migration of the tactical bombers north. And this pioneer is going to help me clean up. That was brutal. And then I got a terrible roll. Then I got another bad roll. So that was unfortunate. I now need to kill this tank because it's mobile. And it's really easy to do on the river. I mean, it's actually hilarious. After five or after four turns, I'm in sight of Minsk. <laughs> That's how fast you can move on this map. This is mostly, I don't have a lot to say because I'm overwhelming the enemy with my air force. And I'm just like charging ahead as reckless as I can get as I can. Once again, the AI keeps attacking auxiliary units and not core units. And I get four... This is great. That makes taking out the conscript significantly easier. And then I get an amazing artillery shot. I made a mistake with the 88 gun. It has movement plus one. I could have attacked the anti-aircraft. I'm a doofus. Now my scout's free to go grab some things. My, my pioneers are moving up. They have an important job. And it's a very important job. Do not underestimate it. Now I need to start doing something about the artillery. My Panzer Jaeger is holding up well. By the way, those conscripts are garrison units. I knew that the AI was going to attack the auxiliary bomber, so it was safe to send Rudel in.
So I'm pre preparing the assault on Minsk. <coughs> I was surprised that the tank came out. I, th I thought the tank was going to delay coming out. There's Rudel kicking ass again. So things are safe ish now. Oh, it's not a garrison unit. My bad. As you can see, I'm just going to gobble up all that free prestige. Another airfield. I have to bring some artillery over. I'm really just slaughtering them. However, it was, you know, I started to realize that uh, I had total control over the map at this point. Then I got a great hit. Helmet Lent is showing up. By the way, uh, this is not a three-range anti-air, so you can bomb this. So that's a huge improvement already. And if I had been more aggressive with my 88 gun and not been an idiot, I could have done even more. It has plus one movement. What am I, you know, what am I thinking? <laughs> I wasn't thinking clearly. So now I need to kill this unit, which turned out not to be hard. Block the bridge. I have so many air units. <laughs> Whoops, you didn't see that. Whoops, you didn't see that either. So that was a double trap. And then the 7-1 did really well. So killing that tank is a lot easier now. Oh, I got an initiative here. I forgot about that. So this is turn nine. So I've taken all but two airfields, which means six planes will spawn. Oh, this was brilliant. <clears throat> so I was able to kill this. And then I sent Rudel. <laughs> And then my uh, four strength scout was actually useful. So 
So, despite the fact that my paratroopers were out in space, the paratroopers actually contributed towards the attack on Minsk. One fighter trap. That was really lucky there. That initiative plus one came in handy. So that was brutal, so I didn't care. How about the Panzer Jaeger holding up? Now I just need to get it out of the trenches. So I, I ended up grabbing every hex. So the idea is to press the KV, force it into the city, and Oladir will finish it off. And it worked. I pulled all the deer back because I didn't want another tank to catch him. So now I'm rearranging to get some suppression. But now the counterattack has effectively been broken, so I can approach Minsk. So I'm taking a risk with the paratroopers, but I really want the capturable unit. So um, I'm going for it. And I had at least weakened the Breast Fortress. I got really lucky, I got a rugged defense, which inspired me to keep pushing. So I'm going to risk my paratroopers again. This is the point where I'm starting to run out of auxiliary units. I attacked with the Panzerjäger so I could kill it. 
My Panzer Jaeger's doing well. And then I got really lucky here. <laughs> so my paratroopers took a beating so I could get the capturable unit. But given how cheap paratroopers are, I think that's not a big deal. I was really surprised Oladir took damage. So now I gotta force a surrender. So I'm on turn 12, so I need to start getting a lot more aggressive. So I'm sacrificing the 88 gun so I can protect my units. As you can see, I'm overwhelming minks from all directions. Another great hit. Then one of my fighters took a major hit, but I think it was worth it just to overwhelm Minsk. So I forced it on the river so I could kill it. I didn't realize there was going to be two more planes, but there was an airfield left, so I'm not surprised. Oh, it's thinking about what to buy. So I took a lot of damage on artillery. That was probably unnecessary. 
And I got a really lucky hit with Rudel. So I was able to take uh, Breast. And then watch this slick move. And I get a surrender. So I was able to cripple the pioneer. Look at my air force, it's sick. It's actually sick what I'm doing. That's exactly what I wanted the tank to do. <laughs> then I made a mistake with positioning. Oladir should not have gone in the city. I should have put the 88 in the city, which could have forced us to surrender on the artillery piece. And I'm forced more surrenders. It's actually funny, I'm farming here. <laughs> oh, except that I failed. That's right. Boom. I seized every I I seized every objective. I almost killed this unit, but he got away. It took me 15 turns to seize that objective. So there's six units left at the end. I believe there's six units left. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. But this one could have died. If you use your Air Force better, you might be able to take these out. Um, or if I blocked this hex, I would have been able to wipe out every unit. <clears throat> probably. There's probably some way to wipe this map. But the important point is that I captured every objective. And I got it decisive. Um... So I had to replay this because the final turn because I had a corruption with the Doctor's mod. So when I replayed it, he didn't take any damage, and or he took one point of damage, and he didn't take any damage, and that was the only difference. So that's it. That's a decisive victory.